Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you an example. Now, let's look at the example first. The example goes like, suppose you have three contacts C1, C2, C3 and three coils Q1, Q2, Q3. If contact 1 which is C1 will be on, all three coils Q1, Q2, Q3 will be on. If contact 2 which is C2 will be on, only first coil which is Q1 and last coil which is Q3 will be on. By modifying the contact C3 to true, all coils will go off. Now let's look at the boolean form of the question example first. As you can see, we have three inputs and three outputs. Our initial condition is that when all of the inputs is zero, all of the output is zero. Now our first part of the question is that when C1 is true, Q1, Q2, Q3 is true. And when C1 and C2 is true, Q1 and Q3 will go true and Q2 will go false. And the last part, when C1, C2 and C3, all of them are true, all of the coils will go false. Now let's head over to the OpenPLC editor and start making a new project. Before that, we will create a new folder and I will name the folder as example first. Now I will select the folder. Then after, I will write the POU name as program first and select the language as letter diagram and I will press OK. Now, if you recall, we have three inputs and three outputs. First of all, I will add variable and name the variable as C1 and type the variable as boolean. Then after, I will add the variable as C2 and C3. I will edit the C4 as Q1 and then after, I will edit two more coils. Now, as you can see, on the left side, we have three coils and three contacts. Now, as you already know that first we have to make two power rails, one on the left side and one on the right side. Now I will right click on the mouse and add a power rail, enter the pin number as 10 and type of the power rail is right, then press OK. Now I will see if they are aligned or not for the sake of it, if they are aligned, then I will start making the ladder diagram. Now we already know that we have to create three contacts and three coils. First of all, I will create three contacts on the left side. I created already one, then after I will paste two of them and edit them as C2 and C3. Now, then after, I will add three coils as Q1, then I will adjust the size and copy and paste two more. Sorry, I will copy the coil and then paste two more. Then after, I will edit them as Q2 and Q3. Now, as you can see, I have created three contacts and three coils. I will add the coil in parallel and connect these pins.
Now, I have added the coils in parallel and joined the pins here. Now, our first part of the question, which is when I modify C1 to true, all of them, all of the coils should go true. And the second part is that when I modify C2 to true, only Q2 should go false. Now, I will join the C2, but I will use here normally close C2 and I will join the C2 contact in series with the Q2 coil second. Now, our last part of the question, which is that when I modify C3 to true, all of the coils should go false. Now, I modify the C3 contact as normally close contact and I will use the C3 and add them in series with all of the coils here. Now, I will join these pins Then I will start the simulation here. Now the simulation is complete and I will click on the debug classes here. And as you can see on the right side, the Q1, Q2 and Q3 is false and all of the contacts is false. Now. Our first part of the question, which is when I modify C1 to true and C2 to false, C3 to false, all of the coils should go true. And our second part is that when I modify C2 to true or false to true, only Q2 coil will go false. As you can see, when I modified C1 and C2 to true, coil Q2 will go false as it did go false. Now our last part of the question is that when I modify C3 contact to true, all of the coils shall go false. Now this ends our video here. Thank you for watching.